Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rat City Rumble 2022. I'm Justin Banks with Fairway Media. I've got Kirby Snyder with me. How you doing, bud? Doing great, man. Thanks for having me today. Really looking forward to getting into it. Excellent. Let's go ahead and thank our sponsors, Innova, Disc Golf, Baka Bok, Chicken. All right. So we got, who do we got today? Uh, we got Kyle Crabtree and myself, uh, currently tied for first, uh, Noah Baker, and then Louis Tran. Really Excellent. looking forward to this card. Yeah, a bunch of great guys. Uh, I've played with Louis and Noah in the past, and Kyle and I played round one together. Um, yeah, was definitely looking forward to this card. All right, and that's the code to do the live scoring. You were helping somebody else out. We have cars telling us to play disc golf. We got Kyle in the box. He's the reigning champ. Let's see what happens on hole number one. It's 291 feet. Long position. Yeah, I mean, that tree in the middle there is the tree you want to avoid. Um, the best drives are kind of flirting with it a little bit on the right or left side. Mm -hmm. uh, I pulled my drive a little too much and just kind of kicked myself back into the fairway. So I think I'm going to be sitting about circle two, trying to get, uh, trying to run a big putt. Yeah, not this too much average, anyway there. No, not too bad. Uh, this hole average 2.8, so it's not a very often buried hole, but you will see a few of them throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the play I like to do in the long position, the, the flex uh, forehand. I think it kind of shapes the through the trees, right? Let's see if uh, Louis Tran can pump it. Yeah. Oh, he just... That proceeded a forward. Early, yeah. Yeah, he got a really fortunate kick. Uh, Louis got such a booming forehand that you'll be seeing him throw that pretty much all day. Yeah. If you're a, um, a fan of Fairway Media from the start, he, he definitely was on a lot of our coverage. So, uh, yeah, it's good to see Louis back. Let's see if Kyle can hit this from circle two. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean lethal. I saw him in uh, in, be in the break here that we had in between round one and round two. I saw him over in the corner working on his putt, and uh, I kind of got the feeling that he was about to pop off. <laughs> Another reference to the to the Facebook love uh, on his practice putt, uh, Colin Footfall in the comments. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, pretty standard uh, shot there. Uh, not really on target, unfortunately, for Noah. No, Noah's a great player. In. Yeah, for sure. Um, I see Noah a lot at SeaTac. Mm -hmm. um, if you watch the tree smack coverage, he plays a lot with Christian Foster. Um, so those two have a very similar style of game. And yeah, just kind of ran my putt a little high. Uh, you know, just kind of put it out mm -hmm. there and gave it a go. Wow, you guys were yeah. all so far away. It's just goes, goes to show how far Kyle's putt was, man. He was furthest yeah, out. Yeah, it was really what incredible. A, yeah. I really wish I had really two cameras incredible. on that. It's crazy that he big putted all of us like that. He's ready to ready to play this round. So, uh, looks like three pars and a birdie. Moving to hole two. The infamous skip shot for the locals. I doubt we'll see any skip shots on this. Uh, and uh, much love to the Schuler family there. Yeah, as you said, the skip shot's definitely the fun play for a lot of the uh, the local dubs guys. But for tournament players, um, you don't see it too often. And Kyle pretty much is throwing like the perfect shot right there. Uh, here I am lining up my uh, hydrogen from my current sponsor, Loft. Uh, one of my favorite throwing putters, and I could pretty much just throw it on a small hyzer right at it and slide Excellent right to job. it. Excellent job. That was Thank you. <laughs> such a great commercial for them. Excellent. You put it right under the basket. Excellent. Sound bite, right. yeah. <laughs> Noah, giving it a Ooh, nice that run was, there. Yeah, spicy too, yeah. All right, there comes Louie. Looks like a Nova or something of the sort. I saw two colors on that. Maybe, a Maybe something from MVP, yeah. Maybe. 
Yeah, this hole averaged uh, about two and a third, 2.36. So definitely one wow. you want to convert. And Louie does from behind the fence. My goodness. Fantastic, too. Oh, that was an incredible two. Yeah. And Noah converting his putt as well. And it looked like Kyle and I were parked, so uh, pretty much bank on a star frame from here. This is a nice star frame, too. It's like you guys, Yo. you know, came to play. Yeah, it's definitely one you have to count on getting mm -hmm. uh, pretty much every tournament. Um, every time you play this hole, you need to count on a birdie here. All right, let's off to the next tee. With some cool new signs that I haven't seen in a minute. If you haven't, there's yeah. a close-up. Thank you, Mandos, yeah. for sponsoring hole three. Uh, 258 feet, uh, just to the left of the over the bush here. Yeah, you see the skip play a lot. I think this is a great attack to it. You really uh, can distance, distance control yourself that way. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of prefer more of like the air shot, and I'm trying to just eat that bush and start to bend in right about there. That should be part. First round, I, I stood at the uh, the angled view. Wanted to get some more uh, more angles of the course here. No, it looked like he had a pretty good shot, and Ooh, Louis, Louis just going. cut the corner. Yeah. Yeah, going just a bit straight, but that's a pretty good shot from there. You're definitely inside the circle, maybe just the edge of the circle there. Kyle, just a little low. Yeah, he's usually hitting metal if he's missing. Unfortunately, yeah, he didn't make yep. that. Yeah, Louie looks like he's lining up about a 25, 28 footer. And he converts. Yeah, his putting strokes looks really clean right now. It's, you know, he, he should be, uh, he, we should be counting on him to catch those throughout the day. Yeah, that was very beautiful. Oh, just unfortunately a little left for Noah. A little nice off shot. balance, but uh, yeah, thanks. Still converted the putt. Collecting deuces. Kyle will take his par. Time. Yep. Noah will take his par. Yep, tying back up with Kyle, which is uh, great. Yeah. So hole four, uh, 207 feet. Uh, this played as a little island, which we haven't really played with before. So short of the island oh i'm sorry nope this plays over to the left round one it played as the island and round two it played left yep. so i just yep so i just threw a big booming hyzer just trying to beat the uh big tree in the dead center there this actually played as the second easiest hole and it played at 2.44 strokes i prefer this position over the long right position i think it's i don't know a little more a little more attackable more, I think yeah, birdies are more fun. <laughs> no, I totally get what you mean. There is uh, a little risk there, too, because if you do get mm -hmm. caught in that bush, it's really difficult to convert the putt and even, uh, you know, get yes. something to the pin safely. And if you do go too far or get, like, a big skip, it can get really dangerous on the backside. So, yes. yeah, it's definitely Ooh, one that puts one the pressure on you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's some... Small footing issue, uh, you know, could be an issue, but uh, these guys, these guys are pros to make it comfortable. Let's see if Louie can bang this. Oh, no Beautiful. chains needed. Holy moly. Beautiful. Here's a little replay. Love that. Is that his second rewind? My goodness, Louie. I think so. Popping off. Love it. Kyle lining up his putt. What is this one foot action? I love it. Yeah, he's uh, he's kind of peacocking on all of us, isn't he? He's definitely flowing. It's so fun to watch Kyle putt. Good job, dude. Look at him just stare the camera down. All he's right, Kyle, we'll see you. <laughs> nice birdie from Noah.
Wow. Yeah, I missed a little on the left side, but it's still kind of, it, it, I missed uh, just enough for it to still fall in the basket. Onward to the next, hole five. Sponsored by Ken. Thanks so much. We're catching this hole, 297 feet downhill. She's in the long position, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yep, it's going to be on the right side, just past that uh, small cluster of trees that kind of guards the pin. So, yeah, I guess uh, this, uh, yeah, the left position was the right way to say that because there is even because sometimes you put it play it to uh, one, right? Isn't there? Isn't that no, a option? there's a there's a there's a short left position that kind of plays like a little hyzer. Um, this oh, kind okay, of one okay. plays as more of the forehand, and as you see, Louis just kind of Thanks roll right up me. to it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play it off as you. <laughs> That's thanks for helping me out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm here all the time. So, yeah, uh, Kyle's throwing a Buzz SS, and he kind of just gets it to flip up just right and skip just past the wow. basket. I think the, the backhand turnover here plays really well. Uh, if you have so a forehand close. like Louis has, I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's, your, that's your line right there. No, going for the backhand turnover. Might be a little too overstable. I'm just kind of fading out on him. He'll still have a, a solid approach from there. I definitely expect him to run this putt uphill like this. Uh, you have a little bit of a backstop. You might as well go for it. Which is very difficult with the footing you have. It's pretty soft over there. And looks like Kyle has another opportunity to balance on one foot. <laughs> of course. Insane. Count it. Yeah, he's such a lethal putter. Um, that's Just really making things uh, happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's really where he gains a lot of strokes on the field is uh, with how good of a putter he is. And yeah, just kind of uh, fell out of my hand a little late and missed right on it, which is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, definitely disappointing. So we get the cleanups from from the rest. A whole six. Yeah, we I jump over the over the water. Go ahead. Yeah. So hole six, four hundred nine feet, par three. Louis gonna take the box. Love that you're on the catch ham. What's the field play on this one? Uh, field the, uh, played 3.04, so slightly over par. Okay. It was the, I was curious. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely one of the more difficult holes of the day. Um, yeah, there was only two birdies on the day uh, between the MPO and MA1 field, so that's pretty wow. cool. Yeah, that's and we see Kyle. Yeah, we see Kyle lining up. I believe he's throwing his nuke here. Yeah, the catch view is really fun to see because you hardly see it. Um, if you play here, obviously you're, you're throwing the you're throwing the hole, so um, it's hard to really show the the angle of the hill here. But uh, it's it's a it's a rip for the uh, for the amateur like me. You guys are making it look real easy. Holy moly! Yeah, this is my... Please, promote uh, that disc. Yeah, this is my ESP Zeus, uh, one of my favorite throwers, and this is my favorite hole in the course, and you see me kind of smirking back right. there. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, one of the most satisfying holes to park. Thank you. Yeah, it's... Uh, you know, when you think about Lakewood, you think about hole six, and this is definitely the premier hole on the course, so anytime you can pick it up, that's great. Yeah, that was really straight, and, and right at it, that was cool. All Thank right, you. Noah's going yeah. around the corner, hoping for a skip left, but he hits a stick, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the risky play with that shot is sometimes you get the anti skip and it kind of just bounces away from the basket instead. And Louis, Louis almost throwing cans a great it. little, yeah, great <laughs> little chip up forehand. And just a standard layup for uh, Kyle there, taking no uh, risk on his throw. Let's see if we can clean this up for Noah. Bang! Uh, great, great putt. I love yeah, that from, line yeah. on a putt. It's fun to watch. That, 
That was awesome. Kyle tapping in for par. And I'll take my birdie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shout out to are... Adam Umstead being the uh, mm -hmm. the only birdie on uh, MA1, and uh, I was the only birdie in MPO, so definitely felt good to pick up a stroke on the field there. Super fun to catch that. So hole seven, we have... Did we move it long? I believe it's still up in the, the upright on the position. Hill? Yep. Okay. Yeah, definitely one of the more difficult holes in the course. Yes. Uh, directly behind the pin there is a downslope that leads to out of bounds because this hole kind of plays on like a little peninsula um you know you got to throw through a tight little window to start and louis throwing a great He's shot just kind of tailing out a little right definitely will be so kyle's going probably a putter here possibly a mid Nice looking shot, right through the gap, up on the hill. That's great. If you can just make it through the it, gap, yeah. yeah. If you can make it through the gap and be progressing forward, you can really be, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can really set yourself up in a decent position. You just don't want to be kind of like anhydrating <laughs> through there. And uh, when nobody we got a casual, saw that guy. <laughs> no, he popped out of nowhere. He had headphones in. He had no clue what was going on. And it looks like Louis At least did everybody tail safe. Out. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be shooting for uh, three from the far here. Which is very hard to hit, but he sat right on the tree. Yeah, a little low, but he's okay. Mm hmm. Again, these are Luna putters? Up. Yeah, this is a Proto Luna. Um, I'm lining up about a edge of circle putt here, and mm, yeah, just swung right way around. right. And uh, yeah, when it missed there, I was like, oh man, I definitely rolled OB, only to kind of get the confirmation from everybody that it's not. But still, from there, I kind of expect myself to be taking bogey, and I know I'm battling hard with Kyle here, and he's Who's doing stuff like this. Yeah, ballerina like, through this like, course. Jeez, you know, like I'm white knuckling to stay in bounds and he's uh, smashing putts from all over the place. It is a pleasure to watch that. Wow. Yeah, he's incredible. It really is great to watch him. I don't know if I mentioned this in the first round or not, but Kyle Crabtree has been thousand plus rated since December of 2005. That is bananas. Absolutely icon. Like that is just a crazy, crazy stat from a, you know, crazy good player. So I'll take my bogey. Louis going to take his bogey. No guy's bird. Yep. Kyle guy's bird. And hole eight, 348 feet. Plays into that little nook up in the trees, um, slightly uphill. It's really the kind of shot where you're going to throw uh, your best driver as straight as you possibly can and hit the hill and bounce a little up. If you have not watched round one, go check it out. <laughs> Please go watch the highlights yeah, on that one. Highlight reel of a hole. It was incredible. Wow. Well, that was a push, too. Yeah, great Excellent shot for push. Noah. Yeah, Noah's got a great backhand. A good shot on this is just out of my skill set. So it's, a, it's really fun to watch you guys throw in the woods here. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely one I, I, that uh, most of the MP, MPO field wants to capitalize yeah. on. Uh, you know, all these guys, everybody here has the distance to get up there. Mm -hmm. It's just about having the right shot that's low enough and long enough to kind of hit the hill the right way. Yeah, Louis pushes pretty straight. He might have a little little bit of a, a wide stance for his putt. Uh, looks like you're furthest out, but you do have a somewhat of a clean line. You got to put a low laser on it, looks like. Yeah, there's a nice uh, backstop there. So if I do go long of the basket, I know I'm not going to go too far. So I definitely want to run this as hard as possible. Mm. Yeah, no. Two really of the close. three. Wow, almost yeah. got it. Yeah, that would have been uh, that would have been a pretty sweet make. Oh. Just a little low from Noah. The yeah, last so not going. Average. Or yeah. did putt. Excuse me. Yeah, so this hole averaged uh, 
So just a little under par, definitely one you want to try to capitalize on, like we said before, from the MPO field. And it's exactly what he Kyle does. He has not does. missed when he goes one-legged. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> absolutely <Awesome>. bonker bananas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, so he's got a Louis got a straddle here. Nice. Yeah, he puts nice it right in the free. heart. He was messing with me and I deleted it. Uh, <laughs> that's what happened there. And you had you didn't like it. You kind of hung it there. You're like, no, I wanted the putt. Yeah. <laughs> James Houston's sponsors hold nine, uphill 249. And there was a small distraction of this person uh, with a runaway dog. I wanted to capture that forever. It was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, one of the things you deal with playing in a, uh, a park style disc golf course is every once in a while someone's just chasing the dog on through. <laughs> But this is Lakewood. We all kind of know that those things happen. So especially on this hole, we're watching out for that. As you see that path, that kind of runs uh, as a OB right in front of the hole there. So yeah, yeah, slightly uphill. Uh, it's it's a small low tunnel. So that little sketch. Yeah, there plays a little longer in well. my opinion. But yeah, but he got his dog back. Yeah, they were just kind of like running just to back give you a closure to the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing uh, ESP pumps here. Yeah, just oh, trying true. to throw it on a little more hyzer and trying to get it to poke through there. Ooh, okay, um, starting to run on it. Yeah, Dang, he he's just showing the high right rail. Oh, yeah. This whole round is a highlight reel. Yeah, he's on fire right now. <laughs> Two feet that time. Jeez. Welcome to the Kyle Crabtree show. And Louie does not want to get out putted. And he because he can do it too. My goodness. Yes. Right in the heart too. That's what a replay. A putt. Yeah. Look at him. So many good putts. Out. It's ridiculous. This is a clinic yeah. right here. These guys are really good. You're no slouch. You just hit that 1,000. Oh, but that was not a 1,000 rated putt. I'm sorry. You'll clean yeah. that up. That was just a little <laughs> high. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Small miss. Yep. Plenty of missed putts on that way, you know. But yes, I did just get to a thousand. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, super cool. Nice milestone to hit. Thank you. All right, so hole 10 here, 274 feet, uh, average 2.96, so slightly under par. Definitely one of the tighter tunnel shots that we have here at Lakewood. And yes, Kyle threw a great shot. Yeah, that's a really common play you see is somebody trying to skip up the hill and then kind of roll oh, down there it goes. it. Yeah, he just kind of yeah. got a little more roll than people expect. Mm-hmm. It must have curled forward and then right. Yeah, you always get some ground play on this hole. It's a wild one. I love the forehand play here. The middle. Yep. Yeah, if you the can match the, the height of the hill right, that plays so well. Yes. And that is in the right cabbage, if you will. By the way, that Bakabak jersey is fun to look at, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, that is a, uh, yeah, my uh, business partner for Emerald City Disc, Brian, designed those himself. And uh, yeah, we, we, the whole box squad loves wearing them for sure. Yeah, it looks cool. So you can kind of see the basket. It's a low skip. He's trying to put it right under, it looks like. Yeah. Ooh, fun angle, but he's probably within five or ten. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem for him. He's been hitting putts all day. He's not worried about that one. Louie with a nice looking approach there. And yeah, it looks like I just kind of kicked out to the outside. I'm probably looking at uh, 25, maybe 30 feet here. And just a little high right.
Oh, the first one-legged miss from Kyle, and it was on hole 10. He is still killing it. Yeah, that guy's Forced an absolute lead. Yeah, the guy's an yeah. absolute monster. Um, he definitely separated himself from the pack in this front half here. Yeah, this 20-hole course is is so much fun to film. You get a good calf workout. These guys are playing well. We're having a good time. So yeah. we're playing the back half. Uh, we're in the middle of the back part. We'll see on the next half. We're playing more golf. We're watching videos. We're talking about it. Watch this highlight. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you, sponsors. And thank you, putters of awesomeness. We'll see you in a minute. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. See you later.